But as Unu told reporter Niven, it is not by this pyramid of guilt that the new Burma will be built. Unu, what are those men doing high up on the pagoda? Uh, this uh, needs a bit of explanation, you see. As a matter of fact, uh, these uh, concern more with the mundane affairs, you see, uh, than with the religious affairs. Because when a man is sick, or when a man is demoted, or when a man is suspended, you see, from his job, he consults a fortune teller because he believes, you see, that he is suffering from ill luck. So in, in order to counteract that ill luck, uh, he offers uh, gold leaf to the pagoda, which uh, he believes will bring some merit, which can counteract, you see, uh, the ill luck, which he is suffering from. The person who pours water on an image of the Buddha is doing the same thing. Is doing the same thing, yes. But these are only superficial gestures. Uh, very superficial, very superficial. Uh, the, the real thing that matters, you see, is nothing but the meditation which can deliver one, you see, from all suffering. Could you tell us a little about that, Unu? Uh, I must tell you something from my own experience. I, I was born a Buddhist, so I became a Buddhist. And to tell you the truth, I was not a Buddhist in the true sense of the term till very recently. I was very much attracted to uh, Buddhism, I mean genuinely attracted to Buddhism, only after I have learned that the truth of Buddhism can be tested. Lord Buddha said uh, quite boldly, you must not believe anything which you cannot test yourself. And he also said that a person uh, will go through four stages in this very life, not in the life hereafter. And uh, when a person has gone through one of these stages, the mental transformation uh, of that person will be so complete that it will give him enough conviction and faith to make him a genuine Buddhist. These words very much attracted me towards Buddhism. So I tried it myself, and not all of what Lord Buddha had said, a portion, because due to lack of time, as you know, I cannot possibly try all what he had said. And I had tried some portion of it, and I found uh, that to be true. And since that time, I became a very much confirmed Buddhist. How long does it take to achieve that state? About a month. Of more or less constant meditation? Yes. And only meditation? It must be constant, yes, meditation. You didn't do anything? Uh, no, no. I, one is not supposed to do anything else. Uh -huh. Meditate. In a monastery, sir? Uh, yes, in a monastery. Not necessarily in a monastery. You can do it at home so long as it is a quiet home. Could you describe the state which one reaches at the end of this? Is the word serenity or confidence or...? Uh, it, is, uh, it is quite definite, you see. It is not a vague thing. It is very clear. For instance, you see, uh, you may be a Buddhist or you may be a Christian or you may be a Muslim or you may be anything, you see. But if you ask that man, whether he believes his own religion completely, if he is a, an honest man, he must tell you, you see, he must uh, admit that sometimes he is assailed by doubts about his own religion, the, re the religion he professes. The Buddhist will tell you the same thing. But when he reaches the first stage, that doubt is completely eliminated. Have you found your Buddhist faith a help to you as leader of your party and as Prime Minister Unu? Very, very much, very, very much. Had it not been for my faith, you see, uh, I would have been finished, you see, in uh, uh, 1948, 49 and 15, uh, 50, when the insurrection was at its height. Because everybody thought that we were finished. 